Mm. Now, how do you like to dip your tea bag in hot water, huh? Do you dip it fast or slow? Or do you just let it dangle all over the mug? <laughs> now, never mind. I'm just a tease. But on a serious note, who in the world doesn't know what I mean? We are all people. So what does teabagging mean? And how do you do it? Now, if you've ever been wondering about this for some time now, or just maybe you still don't even know what the correlation is between teabagging and sex in a bedroom, then I say, welcome to my classroom. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jane Lawrence, aka GC Jane, and I come with a lot of juice. Be right back. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying tuned. Now, what is tea bagging? Okay, so imagine a pair of testicles is actually a tea bag. You know how you dong a tea bag in and out of your mug when you let it brew? Okay. Now, that's what you're going to do with someone's balls, except instead of dunking them in hot water, you dip them in and out of your mouth. That's just what teabagging is. So, teabagging is described in the Urban Dictionary as a man that squats over a woman's face and lowers his genitals into her mouth during sex. How cool is that? <laughs> now, the mouth can either suck or leak or just be an open balls receptacle, all right? Now, many men enjoy stimulation of the nut sack, and of course, dipping the balls into a woman's mouth can be a pleasant way to do it, but there are some men who find it rather too ticklish. So the thing is for you to be soft when you're receiving them balls, all right? Just be soft about it. This is how to teabag. If you're going to be the mark in this equation, just be aware of the fact that tea bagging is a fine art and you will need to chat with your partner first to find out what they really like because what turns one person on does absolutely nothing to another and then also realize that the balls can be quite a sensitive area so see if your partner prefers a rougher touch if they like it gentle or if they just want you to open your mouth wide and do nothing while they you know deep it in and out in and out you know what i mean you need to just find out now once you figured out what your partner really likes and you are of course keen to teabagging as well then it's a pretty much good and simple way to go about it all right it's usually best to try teabagging as part of stimulation of the penis first you can give your partner a blow job just wiggle down to suck the balls and keep wanking off the penis for a pleasant sensation or they can stroke themselves all by themselves you don't need to do anything all you just need to do is just put the balls in and suction on it all right so here are seven ways that you could treat him to a nice tea bag and number one ladies if you're receiving the tea bag please go gentle at first and check in on him to see how your husband or how your man reacts and don't be offended if he giggles or maybe he doesn't seem to be into it. Some men are fairly particular about their balls and your mind-blowing moves may just be funny or may just feel awkward on someone else. So start things off by gently leaking the balls during the blowjob. And also use plenty of moisture. Don't be afraid to get messy. And for the unmarried ones, if you must tea bag, make sure that you're doing it with someone that you trust, someone that you respect, someone who respects your desires, someone who wants you to feel good. And someone, of course, who's got nice balls and who will stop when you say stop. And for the men, if you want your wives to tea bag your balls, please do them the honors of having a clean shave down there. You don't want your woman plucking strands of hairs off her teeth. Not good, not a good sight at all okay don't do that number two ladies you don't have to shove both his balls into your mouth you're not going to win an award if you do so so do what makes you feel comfortable because if you're not into gagging or choking on his balls then you need to take it easy let's keep this an enjoyable experience for both of you all right we don't want you choking on no balls 
And number three, ladies, I need to help the man tell you to take note that teabagging always brings love back to the balls. Because half the time, the balls are usually left out of sexual activities. Not necessarily on purpose, but because they're, you know, basically forgotten. You know, they hide below, so we get why they're left out. I mean, out of sight is obviously out of mind. Yeah. So of course, the best way to give the balls some love is to teabag them or suck on them. Either way, they should feel included. Don't forget the balls, babies. Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> Number four, don't take the teabagging concept literally. I mean, the term teabagging. You don't actually have to bob the balls in and out of your mouth. I mean, you can do this, but you should also mix it up a bit. Use your tongue and your lips to apply pressure on the balls. You could also incorporate your hands, you know, into the act as well. If your mouth gets a bit too tired, well, then you could throw in some ball juggling. You know, mix it up a little bit and spill some of your creativity in there, here and there, right, left and center, up and down. You know what I mean? Just be creative. And number five, you need to make sure that your man understands the importance of a shower. It's only fair. If you're not comfortable with the skin-to-skin -skin contact, you could try to place plastic wrap over the balls or maybe just wear dental gown. Do whatever is comfortable and safe for you. And number six, please note that he doesn't need to squat over your face. He doesn't always have to sit on your face, all right? That's a good experience, but this isn't the only position that he can be in when you teabag him. You could have him lying on his back or you could just kneel and he just towers over you or you could even have him on all fours and gulp him from behind you know and that can only happen if he's comfortable enough to show you that vulnerable position you know what i mean yeah but the squat is also a good position to try at either ways i'm just saying that there are other positions that work just as fine and just as good just find the one that works best for you that suits you and also your baby boy so that you can give him the greatest teabagging treats of all time now number seven don't go right for the balls this shouldn't be the first thing you do when you're going down there suck his penis first suck it a little bit lick his balls later and then slowly go into it and gauge his reaction if he's never been teabagged before now once you see that he likes it then you could go full bis mood on those balls. You know what I mean. Now, number eight, if you ever forget what to do, listen to Drake, baby. Just listen to him. If you're not able to remember all that I have told you, just listen to Drake's advice on teabagging, gentle suction. This means he will lower his balls slowly into your mouth and you just suction on them gently. You can't fail with this move. You can bet your life on it. You will never fail on that move. All right. And finally, number nine, remember balls are sensitive. I used the word bis mood earlier on. I, um, well, I should let you know that I don't mean that you should tear those balls up in the literal sense because balls are extremely sensitive. So don't be too rough when um, you're going down on them. Um, if you want to bite them, do so ever so gently, unless he tells you otherwise. Treat them balls like eggs. Respect them balls. Those are his holy grails. That's where his children are manufactured, baby. A whole generation lives in there. So don't play rough, okay? Don't play rough. Now that you know what teabagging is, it's time you took your newfound skills into the bedroom and get them tested out, all right? Can you now? Can you do that? All right, let's get to work, ladies. And I need report on this assignment right after, okay? So get into your teabagging games right now and see you in my next class. I'm Juicy Jane and I come with a lot of juice. Don't you forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and families and enjoy the rest of your day. Watch my ads every time it comes on, right?